Show Chapters Trading Nation. Key Week for Facebook 3. 6 p.m. Eastern Time Tuesday. The 4th of September 2018. 03. Oh oh it's been a volatile few months for Facebook shares. N1 Strategist says the stock is in a precarious position in the middle of an important week. For the company, the social network's chief operating officer, Sheryl Sandberg, was testifying before the Senate Intelligence Committee on Wednesday about election-related manipulation on the platform ahead of U.S. elections this year. Another technology executive, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, was also testifying about similar abuses. This chart looks very, very dicey right now. The bounce we've seen since its 21% July decline, its post-earnings report decline, was a feeble one. Matt Maley, equity strategist at Miller Tabak, said in an email to CNBC on Tuesday, how Facebook trades after we come out of the congressional testimony is going to be very, very important. Maley added Tuesday on CNBC's Trading Nation. The levels investors should watch are $170 and $171. Maley said, Facebook was more than 1% lower on Wednesday, right around the $169 per share mark. After falling nearly 3% Tuesday, Wall Street firm Moffitt Nathanson downgraded the stock to neutral from buy, citing a forecast slowdown in revenue growth coupled with mounting regulatory scrutiny. Although the stock bounced from its year-to-date low in March, Maley pointed out that the name has posted a lower high, along with a lower low on the chart, suggesting the price action has been weak. Facebook shares are trading firmly in a bear market, down 22% from their high in July, when the stock crashed on its earnings report, even after it managed to claw back its Cambridge Analytica scandal-fueled losses. If the stock can hold here, we're okay, but any break of that $170, $171 level is going to be problem. He said, slowing growth has already been priced into the stock to some degree. Said Gina Sanchez, CEO of Chanico Global, the stock's forward price earnings ratio has fallen to about 22 times from a little more than 28 times at the beginning of this year. That, coupled with the question around deregulation, the question of, can Facebook self-police, creates a meaningful headwind, Sanchez said Tuesday on Trading Nation. Facebook shares were down 1.1% Wednesday. Vote vote to see results total votes. Not a scientific survey. Results may not total 100% due to rounding. Disclaimer.